Hello everybody and welcome back to Barbara Gaming for some more Hatchet Skull 4. Today we're gonna go ahead and continue on our hard verse mode journey because we've only unlocked like three characters so far. So we wanna unlock more. So I guess today we might as well just knock Alan out of the park and his condition is standard club only and he's the metrosexual according to that. <laughs> Couldn't resist, could ya? Yeah, I probably could, but uh, let's go ahead and go to Aloha Beach, and I've been warming up not using the standard club, so I guess we're gonna use the standard club, but let's throw some bigger ball, or throw the bigger ball on it, and I'm gonna be Maya, but let's just, yeah, we'll use class outfit, because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we can leave Bertha, and let's just jump right into this thing, and it is our... I left it on fall, but it's like winter here now, even though we're only in the beginning of November, because it freaking snowed a lot. And it's not fun. Now. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully this should be like a smooth match, because Alan is one of the easiest characters. And when I do things like that, probably not as smooth of a match. So yeah, hopefully I can hit on the pin more often. <laughs> Especially because he has like amazing impact, so he'll basically always hit it. The newest... I'm not resetting the computer right now. Clearly I'm doing something, so let's quickly get rid of that message. And it said it was going to pick a time. Oh, now more stuff popped up. Yeah, do it like three hours from now that should give me enough time <laughs> and today all right go away message okay he landed on the fringe because i really wasn't watching because i was scared that was gonna turn off the computer but now let's get back into the game and hopefully not have stupid updates interfere again <laughs> Last time it was the fire alarm, and this time it's the computer. There's always interruptions. And the dog is probably gonna bark when the people get home too. Although, at least the computer updates weren't like obnoxious and annoying. But let's go ahead and get the birdie here, hopefully. Um, alright, good. So we're gonna start off with a one-up, so that's always the best scenario to be in. It's not over till the credits roll. Yeah, it usually isn't, even though we skip the credits when we beat normal Z. But let's go ahead now and this is probably gonna be too much power. I'm pressing the freaking button too early, which luckily with this club doesn't matter. But it's gonna in the driver clubs. Yeah, I knew that was too far. Ooh. All right, I'm actually glad it's on the fringe because putting from there is kind of annoying. But this is one of those particular holes where you actually don't want to do what he's doing because he'll be lucky if he hits it far enough. Because they usually hit out of bounds a lot in this hole for some reason. You want a couple of candy balls? Yeah, I ate a couple candy bars and, like, I don't feel good. <laughs> Too much sugar. Yeah, I don't- he probably did use enough power this time, but he still was a little light. Although he's kind of close to the hole, but it doesn't matter because he's on his bogey. So let's see if maybe I can get a chip in. I doubt it, but who knows. I was like... Meh. It wasn't really that close. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my par, so that means I should be able to hopefully get it in and get the two up. Because if I can't beat Alan, then yeah, I probably can't beat anybody. <laughs> but there we go. Instant two up. I, yeah, actually I need more fiber because I haven't been eating healthy at all lately. Which, part of that is a lot of candy bars, like Bertha was saying before. What is up with that today? I kept doing it in my warm-up too. 
It's basically, I always have to warm up before making the videos now because I used to not, and then I would actually kind of play it like this, but the worst part is I did warm up this time. So yeah. Even though I've never, like, played that well anyway. <laughs> I can't afford the car I drive. Neither can I, buddy. I At least I didn't do that, though, so that means I'm in a better position than he is. Oh, and he did the same type of shot I keep doing. And he's still in the rough, so that's always, like, amazing. So, let's see. I probably can actually attempt this, so... Yeah, I might as well, because I have not a whole lot to lose. And I actually hit it in the impact zone. Oh, tree. Yeah, tree. Alright, so they put me all the way in the back, so I'm probably not gonna do... Oh, that's like what probably would have helped before. <laughs> Although I still would have landed in the sand trap. So he might have this round again. It seems like every time I take risks lately, it screws me in the end. So I just have to play safe more often. I'm probably gonna want some extra power. Oh, that's not good. And it was literally like the lowest percentage it could have been. So this is like definitely an awful round. And maybe, oh, it slowed down too quickly. So we can go ahead and go for our double bogey attempt if he doesn't just get the birdie here. Which actually, I guess for, well, it's hard mode, Alan, but yeah. Let's like not take any more risks so <laughs> that we don't let him beat us, because if we do, that's just pathetic. At least for me, because I know some people, like, I used to never even be able to beat hard mode Alan because I did a lot worse at this game, which is kind of hard to imagine seeing how horrible I play now. <laughs> Not that I play that bad either, really. But there we go. I actually hit it on the pin. So yay for me. And I actually don't have to rush the rounds or anything because it's Saturday on the day of this recording. So I don't have to go to work or anything like that for a change. Because I've been recording a lot of tennis lately on my work day. So it's kind of like, ah oh, shit, I'm going to run out of time and be late. Which thankfully that has not happened. But I have to also remember on Monday I have to go to work at like 8 in the morning. Because apparently when you're a night shift worker they want you in at 8 in the morning for some reason. But yeah, that was actually kind of close. <laughs> this like does not taste like strawberry at all. I like literally never buy the same products. Ooh, let's go ahead and get the birdie here because it looks straightforward. And there we go, birdie. I need an espresso, can someone work on that? No, you don't get your espresso. But if we could just like do that two more times, we can pull off the victory here. And I always like to hit over the pond, so let's do it. Women can't stand me. There we go, perfect shot. And I've probably mentioned it before, but this is like one of the only holes that I've actually got to chip an eagle. So that's like always an exciting achievement on my end. He took the safe route. Although actually, I don't know if he would have made it over the lake anyway. Or the pond rather, because that's not a lake. Or I guess I could... No, I don't know. <laughs> I can't afford the car I drive. Let's see if he makes it close to the hole though. Somewhat. Alright, and now it is my turn, so we're gonna hopefully land even closer. Hope he doesn't get the birdie and get another, like, one up. 
All right, so we got closer to the hole. Now let's just see if he will actually miss the shot or not. I keep adjusting this microphone and it's probably making sounds. He did not miss the shot, so we have to get the birdie. All right, I'm a little nervous here because I might fuck this one up. <laughs> okay, good. I got it in. So that's the most important part. I probably not. <laughs> Actually, I'm using the standard clubs. So no. If I was allowed to choose my club, I'd probably use the Infinity Club because I've been using that like a lot lately. Even though I don't know if it really benefits you that much or not. But yeah. I thought the game was gonna like freeze there for a second. And our old friend not using the power shot to its full potential for whatever reason. But we go ahead and waste a power shot. I still, to this day, now that I've been complaining about it for six months, don't get why they do that. And what are you doing? He must, okay, maybe he's just like landing before the, okay. <laughs> he did land before the cliff because I was going to say that doesn't look like a good idea to only hit with half power when there's a big ditch there and you can fall in it. And I'm going to go 50-50 on the sand trap. Good, I was actually wrong. <laughs> and we just got a really long putt though. But at least we have that opportunity. Because I'm not seeing him get a chip in here. I mean, if he does, it wouldn't be the weirdest thing that's happened on this game. But yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, and he even got the sand trap. And made Bertha say drat. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that sad reality when I'm actually further away than he is and probably didn't use enough power there. Okay, I didn't use enough angle, so... I actually used too much power there. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, I don't think he's gonna get the chip in though, so we're back to that scenario again. Although he might. No, he ain't getting it. So let's see if I can get the birdie here because that will give me three up and I think it automatically will put me in dormy hole because the next hole is hole seven. Maybe I'll take a few holes off and come back. Sure, you do that. Did I remember to? Okay, this I didn't remember to plug my phone in because it was like complaining that it was going to die. So I wanted to make sure I put it on the charger so it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's like a beautiful shot by Maya, aka me, because I'm the one controlling her tree. Always tip an extra dollar. Dude, like. Alright, I feel kind of mean because this happened a couple weeks ago. But at the same time, it was like, I shouldn't feel bad, but. Me and my brother went to dinner, because typically I would tip the extra dollar like Alan always suggests. But this waitress was just nasty and mean and was just not very nice at all. And I only tipped her, like, change. <laughs> and I felt mean because it was a restaurant where you go up to the cash register. So I gave her the money and I was like, you can keep the change. And I think it was maybe like 62 cents. And typically, because I've worked in food in the past, so I know like how much of an awful job it can be. So I would give like the waitresses and the waiters like extra money, but I just didn't that time because she was mean. <laughs> and it's like, here you go. But anyway, I think we're gonna get the win here. So there we go. And it was like on a long putt too. So that's always awesome. Back to my perfect existence. Yeah, there you go, Alan. <laughs> but yeah, that was the round. And you got to hear my story about how I tip the waitress pocket change. So I guess pretty much we, um, oh, there's no schmeal for a change. So I guess that's all for this video. So thank you for watching. 
make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, have a very wonderful day. Bye.